Went to Salvation Army today. Um, haven't been to this one in, I think, three weeks. So I got a massive haul. I'm going to show you it now. This is my favorite item that might become mine. That is ALF, which is a uh, another name for cool. I think this is their, this is a specific line that's made in Canada. This is the ALF Pack of Fleece. Um, like 5XL from these should get no less than like $45 for it. Got it for $6.50. 25% off of that because of student discount, so $488. Okay. Um, got a... This is a recommendation from Big Yumbo that I'm trusting. 48 for Chico Zenergy, and this is a pretty good size, size 3, so I think that's like 3X. Um, it's a quilted... Semi, it's not actually quilted. I don't think that technically qualifies as quilted, but I'm gonna use that keyword in the title like quilted vest, puffer vest type thing, insulated. Um, this type of thing should do well, but he says that Chico's Energy sells amazingly for him. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I sell similar off of his listings when I, uh, <clears throat> when I list all of the Chico's Energy stuff. I just sell similar off of his listings and I do well. Vintage Made in USA Prana Sweatshirt for 488 size XL men's. This is in the women's section, but I'm pretty sure it's men's. Um, it is a fleece sweatshirt, pretty lightweight with the logo. This is the vintage logo. It's Made in USA. Uh, could possibly get like 40 bucks out of that if I really wanted, but I'm just going to price it at 25 and it should move pretty fast. Really good brand here, Jamie Sadek, uh, like golf, women's golf brand. I think like older women's golf brand. This is a plain one, so I'm probably gonna get like 20 bucks for it, but if it was, um, like had a crazy pattern on it, I could probably get 35 plus. I know that sometimes these sell for 50, but this basic one, just like 20 probably, which is still pretty good. Um, this, uh, my mom found, she said she wanted it and then it ended up not fitting her. Unfortunately, they don't uh, let us try on stuff at this Salvation Army, so this is annoying, but Women's size 6, Patagonia, this is a skort. Um, you can zip the sides off and it is lined, which is what makes it a skort. There's the... There it is, you can see. Lined, skirt, Patagonia skort. I don't know if that's any good, but it was only, what, uh, $3.75. So, I mean, it's Patagonia, I'm not going to say no to it. Might not be the greatest item, though. All things considered. Here comes a bit of Athleta. This this tag got kind of disgusting. I think this just happens with the older tags. Um, it's just like yellow. Uh, it's a women's large. And this is like fleece lined. I don't know if those are crops. I think these qualify as like 7 eighths or something. I'm not sure. I will use the style code to tell me all of the things that I need to know. But if I'm paying under 5 bucks for it, uh, I will pick up Athleta bottoms pretty much universally. This one as well, I just, I didn't look this style code up, but I will when I list it, size large, and these are camo, which is why I didn't bother. Camo stuff does really well. Typically just, it's, actually, I'm pretty sure it's just universally more in demand, um, for, regardless of what the brand is. Like, I don't think I can think of a single brand where being camo would decrease, would not increase the value, would not increase the demand. <clears throat> from the same woman, I assume, because they're size large. This is a pair of, this is a skort, but with, it's like a long skort, um, I didn't look this up. This is a weird type thing. I would be very surprised if this doesn't have high sell-through um, just because this is unusual and that's... But it's, it's unusual, but it's not like weird to the point that like the type of buyer who would buy Athleta doesn't like it. It's unusual, but the type of buyer who markets, who Athleta markets to would definitely find this appealing. Or at least a decent portion of them will. This was 48. All of those were uh, 375, by the way for a Columbia full zip hoodie in a men's large. Men's large. Uh, don't pick up Columbia for or five bucks very often, but the full zip hoodies um, are pretty rare. Actually, you don't find them very often. And they have like 65% sell through, it's like, or 70%. And they sell for like 20 bucks, which I'm happy with. This was kind of a mistake. I didn't actually bother looking it up. It's an Abercrombie and Fitch. Men's medium, vintage, not made in USA, I think made in Mexico. You know, made in Korea, actually, but that's a, that's still actually pretty vintage. Um, 
like Y2K gonna spam the title track pants. The reason why this might have been a mistake is because I uh, I forgot to check. So the elastic lining on this, you can see that it's sort of coming off. If you scratch that, it's it's kind of coming off. Um, that's that's not a huge deal. I, I, you can still sell them. The, the the big deal would be if this didn't if this had dry rot, but it doesn't. So I don't know. Uh, I will of course have to disclose that and just probably price this at the bottom or if possible below the market, um, assuming that the self reading is not bad, not good on those. Although, Abercrombie Y2K stuff is pretty much universally 100% sell through. Um, Abercrombie's just a really good brand. Honestly, it might be the best small brand. Um, just because it's it's got a lot of like Y2K fashion value right now. Chico size 1, which I believe is 1X. Like, pretty weird pattern. Like, women's basic, basic women's top. I don't know. I'll price this. It was $2.63. I shall price this at... 15 probably and hopefully it'll pop um, This is a good brand very very good brand bolo uh, Oh, you're not gonna be able to read it. It's wet on white. I have another one though. Oh, no, you can carrots It's an equestrian brand horse riding brand this basic like just women's like lightweight quarter zip almost base layer Kind of looks like a cycling jersey. Honestly uh, should sell for 20 bucks even with this, uh, oh, you, you're not gonna be able to see it, but there's a lot of, can you see that? You can kind of see it. There's stains on this because it's white. And of course it's gonna have stains on it. I knew that, I still bought it because I could still get like 20 bucks for this. Sell through is 100%. And I can probably get like 35 plus for this one. Again, like the same thing, but this one is not stained. Carrots, again, it's a bolo. You can't see it here, but it is carrots. This one is a weird pattern. So again, probably 35 plus on this. It does have a small run on the back, but it's not very visible. <clears throat> if you have any local breweries, um, I would recommend like picking up their clothing, especially if it's the branded clothing. This is official branded Sierra Nevada Brewery. Um, what's going on? Local brewery, Sierra Nevada. This is officially branded. It's a full zip hoodie. You should get 30 plus for this. Um, this type of stuff does really well, and this is like a really um, on-trend item. Like, like the hoodies from breweries do really, really well. In my experience, at least. Um, I can't say anything for, uh, like, I don't know, non-breweries uh, that are smaller than that. I, I know that Ballast Point does well, because uh, Thrift for Life has said that. $4.13 for a FootJoy sweatshirt. FootJoy... Uh, during the winter, during the summer, I will pick up anything from them, including their polos. Winter, uh, unless I can get it for like a buck, I don't pick up the polos. Everything else, though, up to five bucks is fair game. Sweatshirts is a mock neck. Sweatshirt, it's like 100% sell through, should get 25 for it. Um, this is an underrated Hawaiian shirt brand. This is, or not underrated, this is a Hawaiian shirt brand that I don't think I've heard talked about ever on YouTube. Bamboo K. You can get like $25 plus for these if they're the right kind, and this one is the right kind. It's size XXL, so big size. Good pattern. Not phenomenal pattern, but a good pattern. If you find the 100% silk ones, those can do incredibly well. Uh, I've gotten 30 plus for those, which is pretty high for any Hawaiian shirt uh, brand. Yeah, Bamboo K, a sneaker bolo. Sneaky bolo that I don't really hear talked about. This is a gamble. It's a vintage polo by Ralph Lauren, made in Mexico, 100% cotton, and it has stains on it. Um, but it's vintage, so I figure that shouldn't matter as much. And it's got this weird embroidery. I don't know if this is like the polo bear embroidery where it could be worth a lot, but it's like got a fish. It's got some fishermen dudes. I, I don't know. It's also a Henley sweatshirt, which is kind of weird. Ah. I don't know if it's even a sweatshirt, it's just like a long sleeve t-shirt, heavyweight t-shirt. I, I don't know. There's a chance that's worth like 50 bucks. Um, there's, a chance, there's a chance it's worth more, but I, I don't know. Worst case scenario, like 15, because it is pretty novel. This is all from one thrift store, remind, remember. Reminder, that's the word. Tommy Bahama, uh, don't pick this brand up during the winter. I pick it up all the time during the summer, but during the winter, the only time I pick it up is this specific scenario. So it has to be a 2X dollar up and 100% silk. This is not 100% silk, it's 95% silk, but that's close enough for me. 
Um, I just put make sure to put silk in the title, and this is also a weirder pattern. It's like striped with palm trees. Of course, I'm going to use floral, um, but I will as the item specifics term because that's typically that's going to be a stronger pattern than striped will. But I will say floral and striped in the title, so that both those keywords, these those key search terms, are um, found. <coughs> Yeah, size 2XL, Duluth Trading Company, uh, just like a plaid button up shirt, basic, got it for $4.13, should get like 18, 15 to 18 for this, should be pretty safe. Um, Duluth Trading Co. big sizes are really, really strong, they can price them fairly well. This is a, this is a bolo, uh, Bandon Dunes, probably the best golf course that I know of to be embroidered on a, um, any piece of clothing. I don't know. If they make their own clothing, if they do, I've never found it. But yeah, anything with Bandon Dunes on it, probably pick it up. Even if it's like Fairway and Green or something, which I have sold. It sold for 20 bucks really fast. And this is a really good brand, straight down. And it's a 100% wool knit cardigan, men's cardigan, size large. So this, I could, I might price it like 40 or 50 bucks. Because this is a very nice item from a good brand with Bandon Dunes on it. Um, I will have to look up how much people are selling just cardigans without Bandon Dunes on, and I will probably price it at the top of that market. That's how I do that type of thing for like golf courses, or if it has Titleist on it, or Scotty Cameron. Well, Scotty Cameron's different, but if it has Titleist on it, or if there's some like value add thing that's like not, that I know is valuable, but I can't find any source for it on eBay, I will look up the item without the value add, price it at the top of the market for the, for that, basically, that's, that's what I do. Because I don't price at the top of the market ever, unless the demand is ridiculous, which I actually, that one is ridiculous. Zero actives and six solds for straight down banded dunes. So I can probably price that at 50 bucks and I'll just get reasonable offers, I would assume. Because nobody else has, because no one has any place to turn. Patagonia, women's small, it's a 10 cell blend, like a base layer almost, Henley, snap button Henley, that's weird, it's literally snap button Henley. Um, with the crop sleeve, I'm gonna definitely look the style code up on this. Should get like 20. I find if you look up style code in Patagonia, you typically don't get less than 20. Ooh. I'm like halfway through, I think. This, uh, not really a gamble. I know that this will sell. I don't know for how much. Not vintage. This is Cotton On Led Zeppelin official branded. Um, it's a women's sweatshirt. I'm pretty sure that that looks like women's. It's like cropped, but it's not. It's not like. It's definitely, you know, manufacturer crop because the elastic is there. It's got the graphic. The graphic is copyright 2012, so not vintage. But, um, yeah, that's, that'll sell. The, the Led Zeppelin is just so popular, popular that anything, especially like a sweatshirt with them on it, is going to sell for, depending on, like, weird market factors, either a lot of money or, like, some money. But it will definitely sell for, for at least some money. This is a brand of t-shirt, dry fire cat one. So that's, cat one, that's a thing to be on the lookout for. Of course, this is clearly fire resistant clothing because it's called literally dry fire. But cat one, cat two, I've seen cat three once. I don't know if that's real or not. It did look like a fake thing, but cat or C-A-T, as far as I can tell, I might be wrong about this, has, is like a rating of fire resistance or something like that. I might be wrong, but fire, resist fire resistant clothing in general is quite valuable. Um... <clears throat> it, yeah, this is made in USA. Uh, fire resistant clothing, very valuable, typically very valuable, typically in very high demand. Like Ariat fire resistant stuff is like in 10x sell through on the shirts. This is not quite that, but these shirts don't sell for less than like 25 or like 23, I think was the lowest I saw one selling for. So that should be very safe. Um, got it for 413. This is not the greatest item, just a basic cinch graphic t shirt. Should get like 12 for this. Or ten, probably I'll price it at twelve. Probably accept an offer for ten. Cinch size medium. I just I just like cinch. It's not as great as it used to be, but it's good enough that I'm happy to sell it, and I can get it for two dollars and sixty three cents. Okay. Here we go. This is a bolo and a half right here. Um, I've not found these before. I don't know how I have. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. Size 3X big. So that's already good. I would have bought this for $4.13 even with that. Size 3X big. 
Like, basically size 2XL and up Polar Ralph Lauren is probably worth picking up for under $5 in my experience in pretty much anything. If you can get a bigger tall size, those are really good. And also, this one's even better because... And you'll, you'll, this is, happens quite a bit. New with tags. I think this is because department stores can't get rid of, cannot get rid of their really big sizes, so they just donate them for the tax write-offs. Um, but yeah, 3X big Polo Ralph Lauren button shirt. New with tags should be minimum like 60. Sell through is 100% on these. Gingham plaid. Really, really, really good find. Um, I am quite happy about that. And because it's new with tags, I'm going to take the time to fold it so it doesn't wrinkle. Although this is, I think, like a wrinkle-free type material. It's like a stretchy, active wear fit thing. Active fit, I think, is what they called it, act now that I think about it. This um, was only, uh, so it was $8.50, and then it got discounted to $6.50, or no, like $6, I don't know, six six thirteen. I think is the right number. It's a big, heavy, very heavy, fleece-lined, literally like a fleece, entire fleece, like full zip in here, lined uh, jacket from L.L. Bean. It's not vintage, I don't think. It's made in Vietnam, although that logo does look old. I don't know, like 40 bucks, 40, 50 bucks maybe, because this is the type of thing that you just don't... Like L.L. Bean, most stuff isn't going to be great. Most of the time when you find something like this from L.L. Bean, it's going to be overpriced, but... My Salvation Army is very nice, and they did not overprice this. So, safe, safe, like, $40, I think. But, uh, probably gonna price it higher. This was a weird find. So, I thought this was Royal Polaris for a bit, because that kind of looks like Royal Polaris, but it's not. Um, it's Pure Polaris, which is actually a brand, and it is new with tags. This retailed for $65. Their jackets, Pure Polaris jackets, I think are a bolo. They, they sell for like 50 bucks, and the sell-through is really good, but the hoodies are not great. I picked this up because it was new with tags, so I can probably get like, worst case scenario, like 15, but I'll price it at 30 and see what happens. Got the graphic. It's a women's small, which is like, eh, but uh, it's definitely safe money, if not necessarily safe big money. This was a really good find. Um, this is a very good brand, Vince. Um, it's technically designer, I think, so it's not a, a super high-end designer, but it is a very good resale brand. Pretty much everything except their dress shirts do really well. Vince size small, which is weird because this thing is gigantic, like this is just oversized. Um, like, I, I could probably wear this and it would look big on me, which is crazy. There's a chance this is men's, but I, this doesn't really look like a men's, like, cut to me. And it's 30% cashmere, 70% wool, 30% cashmere, like a loose knit cardigan, button front cardigan sweater vest thingy. Probably 50 bucks um, on this. Vince cashmere is really a strong, strong pair of keywords. <clears throat> Obermeyer, not a great brand. This was only $3.75. Um... It's a women's eight pair of Ridgeline snow pants. Should get like 20 for 25. Maybe not quite, I don't know. Overnight it's not a great brand, but snow pants in general are pretty strong if you can get them for cheap. Probably 25, but yeah, I'll say probably, hopefully 25. Buckle jeans, these have been hemmed, I think. Uh, I'm fairly certain that that's hemming. That's like not intended. Um, but it doesn't matter to me. I pick up buckle denim if I can, if I find it ever. Looks like the tag fell off. Uh, yellow tags were half off. So this was half off of five and then 25% off of that. So like less than two bucks for buckle jeans is, I can't say no. And skinny jeans too, Stella skinny, but like 100% sell through on these. It's like 14 axes, 13 solds for the women's 27 R's. I don't know. Why not? It's, it's buckle jeans. You can't, it's really hard to say no to those. Prana. Women's, uh, like, these are like capri pants or something. I don't really know what to call these, but they're like chino material. They're kind of stretchy, more stretchy than typical chino material. And um, it's Prana bottoms. Prana bottoms just do pretty well for me. Pick them up pretty much universally. Same thing here, another Prana piece. This one's corduroy. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Prana 
the weird uh, ugly cells is true but not for the outdoors brands i've found except patagonia patagonia ugly sells really well but like prana ugly these are corduroy and i don't really like the color but it's a prana bottom i i just i just picked these up and it's a full length full length pants too just do well for me i i am hard pressed to say no to that worst case scenario like 15. another chico zenergy got this for it was half off of five so like two bucks less than two bucks chico's energy and these are like these are size two so i assume two xl it's a 10 cell almost entirely 10 cell like 81 percent 10 cell um stretchy like i think slinky i will definitely include in the title slinky fabric there we go i don't know 15 maybe <clears throat> Cookie Street Honolulu, I am not picking up as much anymore when I find it at Goodwill for six bucks, but when I find it for four dollars and thirteen cents and in a size two XL, I can't say no. If this were the summer, I would pick this up at a Goodwill. I would pick a size large. I would pick up a size medium. I don't know if I'd pick up a size small, but I would definitely pick up a size medium and up of Cookie Street Honolulu for six bucks at a Goodwill. Uh, but two XL really strong sellers, even in the winter. This was a really good find. Um, Tommy Bahama, as I said, I have that criteria of it being a size 2XL or up, which it does hit, but it's not 100% silk. It's actually a 10 cell blend, but new with tags. Retailed for $110. I'm not going to say no. Impossible for me to say no to that. New with tags. Why not? Why the hell not? And this one I'm not worried about the wrinkling as much. It's got like the flannel material, so it's not, it's like a flannel y material. I think I can list this as REI Co-op, because that's REI Cooperative, which clearly is what Co-op stands for. This is an REI button-up shirt, and it's actually a hemp blend, so in the outdoors brand, anything hemp, I would recommend picking up. Hemp is a really, really in-demand fabric. It's a really nice fabric, and this is also a large tall. So, unusual size, good size, and very good material. Okay, and uh, I think the final item now... Um, an L.L. Bean fleece in a women's 2X. I looked these up. It's like 400% sell-through on these on L.L. Bean full zip fleeces in women's 2X. Sell for like 25 bucks. Got it for five, like 488. Wouldn't, wouldn't have guessed if I hadn't looked it up. Um, I guess that's a bolo for you. Uh, big sized L.L. Bean fleeces. Okay, uh, that was a fairly large haul. Only spent $155 on it because I finessed the uh, half-offs and the 25% off. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye, I suppose.